We're back in Raleigh tonight. Starting goaltenders brought to you by Golden Corral. Help yourself to happiness. Justin Peters coming off that overtime win here on Tuesday night. And Kevin Poulin, the young goaltender, goes for the New York Islanders. He last played on Saturday night. It was a 3-1 win over the Boston Bruins. Sit back and enjoy the 122nd all-time meeting between these two teams. The Canes outfitted in their third sweaters here tonight as they get a deep second game of a five-game homestand. Carolina will host the Minnesota Wild here on Saturday night. It's a four-game road trip for the New York Islanders. They were defeated by the Washington Capitals on Tuesday night, 6-2, a game in which the Caps scored four power play goals. Underneath the puck is Jordan Stahl, eluding a sweep check from John Tavares. Stahl pulls up, takes a bump from the newcomer Aaron Ness. Elevated today from Bridgeport of the American Hockey League, Thomas Vanek. For Kyle Oposo, right now number four in league scoring, Tavares. To the outside of Ron Hainsey, Thomas Hickey with a shot. Glancing wide on a deflection, loose along the boards. Nathan Gerby getting it all the way back in Islanders ice. And the Hurricanes are going to have to make sure they have a forward helping the defense in the attacking zone because especially the top six, the top two lines, New York's uh, Islanders can really skate. Here comes Kyle Oposo, taken care of by Brett Belmore. Riley Nash on this line will be joined by Pat Dwyer and the newcomer Chris Terry, who was recalled from the American Hockey League today. Now, Radek Martinek. Rolls it deep. Tavares holding on to it. A one-timer. Vanek. Line of Justin Peters. Matt Donovan shot blocked on the way through. The veteran Martinic. Thomas Vanek with a shot blocked in front. The rebound goes wide. Swept wide by Josh Bailey. Bailey again over his stick. Played here by Radek Martinic all the way across. Matt Donovan. Slap pass. No tip available. Martinic again. He'll go deep. John Tavares down low, away from Brett Belmore. He stays with it. He stays tough on the puck. He eludes the glove, but it's picked off by Ron Hainsey, and away they go. Yeah, that's, I think, an early double shift just two minutes in. Jack Capuano using his captain, John Tavares. What a hit, Belmore, on Kyle Oposo. Oposo, the former first-rounder, off to the best start of his career. Now Jay Harrison, a quick up for Chris Terry. Six goals, four assists in ten games with Charlotte. They play tonight at home against the Chicago Wolves. Now Franz Nielsen a give back for Travis Hamannick, a steal. Going to work is Manny Malholtra, turning as Patrick Dwyer. Flushed out by Andrew McDonald, he stays to the outside. Dwyer, a good job along the boards off of Nielsen, loose to the corner. Moving up is Carolina's Jay Harrison, played by Travis Hamannick. The Islanders can't clear. It's stick saved by Kevin Poulin on the shot taken by Jay Harrison. It's dug out by Andrew McDonald. Sealed off by Radek Dvorak. Played top of your screen by Drayson Bowman. Dvorak one more time holding onto it on a cycle. And picking it off here is Franz Nielsen. And away they go. Boy, that stems the tide. The Islanders, a couple of good early shifts in the fourth line that was so good for Carolina Tuesday. Does a good job with a four-checking shift. And a steal. Jordan Stahl comes calling right out in front. Good poke check by McDonald. Jordan stays with it. And a seam Sekera blocked on the way through by Aaron Ness. And the Islanders will escape harm. And they clear all the way back. Rock Nelson with a shot at the flex high over Justin Peters. Top of your screen, Matt Donovan down low. It kicks off the boards played here by Jordan Stahl. Lay it away, and it's carried out by Yuri Tulusti. Two Islander defenders on him, but he gets it deep. Well, good start for Jordan. Of course, you want to see what he gets in terms of confidence from that goal late in regulation against the Flyers, and he, he looked to have some zip there. Thomas Hickey holding out of it. He's been playing well, accepted by Justin Peter. He'll move it. Brett Belmore on the wall. Now the Canes attempt to get it out. Semin had it, lost it. He got it back from Oposo, and he starts his engine. Alex Semin. Pass denied by Hickey. Fed along by Hainsey. Now Kyle Oposo breaks it up. Here's Tavares over the line with Panic. The pass detected by Justin Falk. John Tavares goes to work one more time. Throws on the brakes. He centers. Good back check by Eric Stahl. Pass intended for Thomas Panic. Now Falk is taken down. Loose and gathered in here by Yuri Tulusti. Boy, that was a good step from Justin Falk. Ian Sakura, in the coach's view, did not give up one chance to Philadelphia. He really sealed on John Tavares on that one. The coaches only had Philadelphia for 14 scoring chances in that game. Carolina had 19. 
of the 38 shots they had on Steve Mason. Now the neutral ice. Loaded ahead by the Islanders. Andre Sekera in control. Pierre-Marc Bouchard on him. Josh Bailey takes over. Nielsen shot to flex wide off a skate. Played by Aaron Ness. Played along the boards by Franz Nielsen. Deep it goes. They work a cycle. Stopping and starting. Pierre-Marc Bouchard. A good move. His shot. Peters got a pad to it. Here's Thomas Hickey holding on to it. His wrister wide of Peters. Bouchard one more time. Away from Sekera. Punched by Hickey. Blocked on the way through by Tuomo Rutu. Who checks out his stick. And the Islanders peel back. He might have dodged the bullet there. Because if Rutu's stick is broken, he held on to it for a while. Of course, it's a penalty if you don't drop it. Better be right in that situation. Now they circle. Islanders to Sikas back for Hamannick wide. Through a screen. Andrew McDonald. Casey Sasikis now back in the lineup tonight is Colin McDonald on a cycle for Matt Martin who leads all forwards in terms of hits in the National Hockey League. Sasikis broken up by Chris Terry and out they go. The Islanders doing an excellent job using their points. I mean they have just missed the net. You know, when you have the work down low it creates those vacancies for shooting lanes and they've had a five man attacking unit with the exception of that fourth line shift of Dvorak, Coleman and Belholtra. They are a quick team. They play at a high rate of speed and now it's cleared ahead by Radek Dvorak. A good look at him. McDonald leading their team in terms of ice time. Andrew McDonald holding on to it. Shaking off a couple of checks and now it's carried out. This is Travis Hamannick. Through the middle intended for McDonald. Played here by Peters. Left for Ryan Murphy. Played just about 25 minutes against Philadelphia Tuesday. That led all players. Now Harrison will get it deep. That was a good job of Peters leaving the puck for Murphy. Well, make sure you only play it if you have to. Ron Hainsey. They score! It pinballs in. Carolina gets the bounce. Radek Dvorak out in front. And the Kings are off and running. Scoring goals is the end of the process of doing the right things. The first thing is Justin Peters leaving it. You see him think about playing it? No. Leave it for Murphy so he can use the net to turn and burn. Line change and the best line early in this hockey game has once again been the fourth line. A goaltender, maybe he should, maybe he shouldn't play it. The keeping and getting it to the middle of the ice and Radek Dvorak, when you do the things habit-wise that Radek, Drayson, and Manny have done, you're going to create your own luck. To me, that's an innocent redirection, so that goal will stand. I credit Peters leaving it for Murphy, and what a keep in to get it to the net. As we see, Jack Capuano, Kirk Muller was all about the four-line contribution against Philadelphia Tuesday night. Obviously, that goal will count. Radek Dvorak, the veteran, 36 years of age, third goal of the season. Ron Hainsey will get the primary helper. It comes at 639. And Carolina with a good start. Thomas Hickey out of the corner. Nathan Gerby for the Hurricanes will keep it deep. At Belmore, a pinch on Thomas Bennett. This is Kyle Oposo. The trailer is John Tavares, who has it. Holding on to it. Off a of body. He gets it back. Forked wide. Tavares again. Stopping him back of Justin Peters. He threads it back for Aaron Ness. They go point to point. Hickey with a screen wrister wide on a tip. Loose in back of the goal. Belmore moves to the pinch by Aaron Ness. Back of the goal. They're captain John Tavares in the skates of Thomas Bennett. And Nathan Gerby gets it out. That's a huge goal with the way the Islanders have established their four check in this game. And I mean, does Ron Hainsey, not many guys do it better of keeping pucks in and getting it to the middle. Take a look at the Rex Express care injuries and scratches at the top of your screen. Rex Healthcare chosen for excellence. Good to see Cam Ward among many on the ice today with Rod Brindamore and Greg Steffen after both morning skates. The only helper on the goal by Dvorak is Ron Hainsey, who set up Manny Malholtra for the game winner Tuesday night. Quick shot taken by Eric Stahl is blocked by Travis Hamannick. Belusti takes a hit to make a play. Hamannick in back of Kevin Poulin. Now it's played by Eric Stahl at the top of your screen. Here's Senan holding, faking to the outside, and the pass is blocked by Andrew McDonald, and he had a, a couple of chances, it appeared, to let it fly. Senan, who did not practice yesterday, he's really moving tonight, though. I mean, 
I look at it, you say, well, you'd like to see him shoot that puck quickly, but he received a puck on his first shift in his own end. When he does everything fast, I think offensive things will take care of themselves. Three shots in the game. They all belong to Carolina so far. And Radek Dvorak comes through again with a big tip on the shot taken by Ron Hainsey. In the first, Radek Dvorak goal makes it 1-0 Canes. Let's get you up to speed with some team news and Hurricanes headlines. Elias Lindholm, assigned to the Charlotte Checkers, the 18-year-old, will get a little bit of work adjusting to the speed and the tempo of the North American game. So Chris Terry was recalled from Charlotte. He led the Checkers in goals and points with a total of 10 so far. And for injuries, Gleason and Westgarth remain day-to-day. -day. It looks like Skinner will be out at least a week, maybe two. But good news, both goalies skated today along with the rest of the injured players. John and Tripp? It was encouraging to see all those guys back on the ice today. Uh, and, and for Lynn Holm, as we talked about in our pregame show, the American Hockey League is the greatest development league in the world. So utilize it, a player with a very, very bright future who has had the injury bug really since July. Michael Grabner with a shot block, the rebound, just poked wide. Good opportunity for the rookie, Brock Nelson. Nelson, who played his college hockey at North Dakota. Matt Donovan goes to the outside. Nelson going down. He tries to get back up now. Patrick Dwyer back out to center ice. Ames with an early 1-0 lead on the goal scored by Radek Dvorak. Cross ice pass intended for Peter Regan. It comes all the way back in the Kane zone. And a good look here at Ryan Murphy. Well, I'll say one more time. The way that New York, an angry bunch after the loss to Washington, has established their forecheck, makes the Dvorak goal that much bigger. Thomas Vanek with John Tavares and Kyle Oposo. They can't connect there on the crisscross. Now it's jockey four along the boards. Oposo doing the work for the Islanders. Carolina desperately tries to get out. Now Oposo will carry ahead. He'll stop at a dime, hold on to it, lay it back for Hamannick, and now Andrew McDonald. Slap pass finding Panic out in front off Oposo. Defended here down low by Manny Malholtra. Centered again. Lurking is Thomas Vanek, the former Buffalo Sabre, to the outside. Diagonal pass for Travis Hamannick. His shot cut off by Peters. Played by Tavares. John Tavares off the stick of Peters. Played again by Thomas Vanek. Here's Hamannick one more time. His shot blocked by Belmore. As the Islanders continue to mount pressure. Vanek out in front, mopped up. And cleared out of the zone by Ron Hainsey. This will be icing as McDonald gets to it. They finally blow it dead. 9.48 left to go in this first period. With a Canes win tonight, all Caniacs win. Get 50% off your entire menu price online order at participating Papa John's the day after a Canes win. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. If you didn't have Manny Melhalter having won 70% of his face-offs, I would use the timeout right now. I know it's the first period, but boy, they've been on for a long time. Franz Nielsen wins it back. Aaron Ness holding on to it. Pierre-Marc Bouchard now with a wrister. Fought off the rebound. What a save! Justin Peters recovers on Thomas Hickey. A couple of dandies from number 35 as Carolina dumps it out. As I said, a tired, tired crew there. And boy, Thomas Hickey out of the Western Hockey League. Once upon a time, he was drafted fourth overall by Los Angeles. How about Peters? That is a, a beautiful, beautiful effort save. And Hickey was waived by the Los Angeles Kings. That's how he found his way to Long Island. Now, Nathan Gerby, Jordan Stahl. His shot sails high over Kevin Poulin. Played here by Tuomo Rutu. Rutu to the outside of the aforementioned Hickey. It kicks off Hickey's stick and back out to the center zone where the Canes reorganize. Grayson Bowman played against Hickey in the West. He said you could always tell that he could make a real good first pass as, as Hickey played in Seattle in that league. Goes by Colin McDonald, comes all the way down, makes the line, and icing is called. Time now for the most Southwest Grill. Hey, hey, what do you say, Queso player? It is the captain tonight. If he scores a goal, all Caniacs receive a free side of Moe's famous Queso and hot, fresh chips tomorrow at any triangle locale. Now he's going to try to win this on the backhand to Semin for a quick shot on net. You're correct, sir. Semin with a shot easily detected by Kevin Poulin. That's a very easy game from way up here. <laughs> We're so humble. Radic <laughs> Martinic to the outside. Out to center ice, Colin McDonald. They'll try and fish it by Jay Harrison. 
Good look there. Harrison moves it for Ryan Murphy. A quick up. And out they go through the center zone with good speed. Kalusti, Harrison, his shot blocker down by Kevin Poulin. Out of the corner now, Casey Sasikis for the Islanders. Plays it off to Matt Martin. Back out to the center zone. Excellent three zone play. In the defensive zone, Murphy takes a hit to make the play. Harrison, his partner, jumps in to be the fourth forward at the, in the attacking zone. Carolina by one in terms of shots. They give it back. 12 minutes gone, period one. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always. Sports South tonight. We're back on Fox Sports Carolina Saturday night when Minnesota's here. Brock Nelson. Bring it back for Radek Martinik. Peter Regan on and off his stick. Defended by Carolina's Riley Nash. Good play by Nash. He sets up Terry. Skate to stick. Dwyer walking in. Poulin shuts it down. And he has control. A penalty was called on the way through. We'll tell you about it when we come back. How about Justin Peters coming off a big win on Tuesday night and picking up where he left off. Back at PNC Arena with Dave Lewis. Coach, the Islanders are a team that likes to capitalize on their speed, so how do you prevent them from doing that? Well, they're doing a good job. They're playing a quick game. We have to play a quick game. Uh, first goal is important for us. Now we have a power play. So they've done a good job cycling in our zone. Uh, a couple big saves by Petey, so we have to get a little bit better. Thanks, Coach. Okay. John to you. Thank you, Chantel. The guilty party, Peter Regan. Carolina, power play number one, tied for 21st in that regard, tied for 24th at home. Islander penalty kill is tied for 28th, number 27 on the road, as Travis Hamanek will dump it out. And Chris Terry, who helped to draw that penalty with a heck of a pass, Riley Nash also was key on it, is on the point with Ryan Murphy, and Terry, this is a comfortable spot. He's played the point in the American League. Eric Stahl over the line, wide of Kevin Poulin, played by Travis Hamanek. His stick was tied up, so a steal by Alex Semin. Semin goes down low, read by Hamanek. Casey Sasikas now will move it back out to neutral ice, and a steal. A giveaway by Terry, brought in by Grabner. Grabner throws on the brakes. Terry recovers nicely, and Carolina gets to it. Well, it's a good recovery, but Murphy really makes the play, and I can bet that Terry's not facing a guy with Grabner's speed. No, stall. That's Eric, broken up by Grabner taking it away from Yuri Tulusti. These two teams played October the 19th on Long Island. Carolina won that game four to three. They were one for three on the power play against the Islanders in that one. Jordan Stahl makes a move. Franz Nielsen coming back. Here's Andrew McDonald around the boards and out. Played and neutralized by Justin Falk. He gave it away. Now a feed by Josh Bailey for Franz Nielsen. Falk now has control. Carolina, as we see, down to a half minute on the power play. Carolina's penalty kill has been better than New York's. New York's power play has been better than Carolina's. Jordan Stahl moving up. Defended by Travis Hamanick. Now Casey Sasikis off the boards, killing more time. And, and, and to me, both teams' cumulative percentages are 94-95%. That magic number is above 100, so let's see which team wins that dimension. Jordan Stahl's drop pass, unattainable. Carolina 2 of 19. In the last five in their power play, the Islanders 10 for 18. The last five with their kill, including the four power play markers by Washington on Tuesday night. Back to the point, Ron Hainsey, point to point. Belmore fanning on one, pestered by Tavares. Belmore sets up a man. Nash to Hainsey, blocked in front by Andrew McDonald, and he leads the Islanders in that regard. Set along by Carolina's Ron Hainsey. Good. F3 high man for Bowman. A pinch from Hainsey, but Drayson was there to cover up. This line continues to be con positionally good. I thought Bowman had his best practice in a long time yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised if he factors in. Ron Hainsey. Out to center ice. Dvorak stolen by Matt Donovan. Lead pass intended for Thomas Vanek. There to play it is Hainsey. Ryan Murphy hard pressed in the corner. Supporting him, Radek Dvorak, a good job. And away go Carolina. This is Chris Terry. He'll float it out in front of Kevin Poulin. Manny Malhotra. Radek Dvorak has the game's only goal. Terry with a shot. Good save by Kevin Poulin. The lead pass. Thomas Vanek's in the zone. Getting back Justin Falk. Vanek sends one off the paddle of Peters. Caught out by Radek Dvorak. And a penalty will follow. Dvorak will go for closing his hand. Now Martinek broken up. 4.14 left to go in period one. It'll be an Islander power play when we come back.
Muller's team down a man. Radek Dvorak, two minutes for closing his hand on the puck. It was the right call as he caught this puck just for a split second. Anytime you toss it to the side, you're cooked. Uh, and this is a very good Islander power play. Of course, the guy that you want to watch in particular is John Tavares. Now he's, he's taking the draw right here. But Thomas Banicus is a short stick and has a willingness to, to get to those nasty areas. Let's see what he brings on this look at Banicus. They're number 12 overall. They get off to a great start with their power play. They are number 29 on the road as that puck deflects out of play. But the Islanders in the last five games, 0 for 18 with their power play. And it's going to take some time for John Tavares to get to know Thomas Vanek. I mean, he knew Matt Molson so, so well. But the thing about Vanek is he uses a really short stick, and I talked to him about it this morning. He says it's because he plays in those high traffic areas. It helps him chip pucks. Off the faceoff now, a post for Thomas Vanek. Delmore, along with Hainsey on him. Top of your screen, Jordan Stahl to the center zone, off the boards and deep. And now Kirk Muller will change the troops. Wire stays out up front. The Islanders on the 19th of October against Carolina were two for five in that game with their power play. Franz Nielsen over the line. Good coverage by Jay Harrison. And it's swept out of the zone by Nathan Gerby. Kevin Poulin, Montreal native, will leave it there. A steal, short-handed Nathan Gerby. He'll circle the wagons off a stick off Andrew McDonald. And back out to the center zone, Thomas Vanek. Across for Kyle Oposo. Under a pass for John Tavares. Tavares pulls up on Harrison. Oposo along the boards gets help from Tavares. Hamannick cruising. Panic! Just over his stick. He was alone out in front. Carolina, with help from Manny Malholtra, will chop it out. John Tavares away from Malholtra. Broken up by Jay Harrison. You see the time left on the initial power play for New York. Hamannick at the line. Patrick Dwyer has time and space, and out she goes. And the Islanders did score a, a goal, but it went back and forth because it was like a millisecond in Washington the first period. Uh, Nielsen to Tavares wasn't a power play goal, wasn't that. Whatever it was statistically, it certainly was. Over the line, Grabner broken up. Hamannick will kick it ahead. Now Holtra had it, lost it. Belmore for Carolina, now Jordan Stahl. Nine seconds left on the kill. The big guy cuts, holds on to it. Puts on a show, Jordan Stahl gets it deep and kills the rest of this power play. And he felt uh, McDonald coming. McDonald back in the lineup after a hip injury. He wanted to plow through Jordan, and Jordan felt it. Colin McDonald to the outside. Tough angle, shut down by Peters. Played by Eric Stahl. Carolina with two minutes left to go in period one. They will start again. It's brought out by Yuri Tulusti. Cross corner dump in. Casey Sasika is back on it. No shots for the Islanders with that power play. Aaron Ness in his own zone now. He'll lead it ahead. Out to center right. As the puck is cleared all the way in on Justin Peters. Around the boards by Brock Nelson. Jay Harrison back to play it. Pressured by Nelson and Martin. And now it's played here by Carolina's Yuri Tulusti. Most always want to keep the puck moving forward, but that's one of those instances where Toulouse does a good job buying time and protecting the puck. Alex Semin was tackled by Matt Martin for a loss. No call was made on that one. On that subject, though, college football fans, hard-hitting conference USA action kicks off Saturday as East Carolina puts its conference title hopes up against the Golden Hurricanes from Tulsa. You can catch the game this Saturday, 345 on Sports Sound. Seven tackled by Martin for a loss, and I'm brainstorming yeah. right now. I know there's never been a seven in the NFL. Not, not to our knowledge. But no. I know there have been some Martins. I'm trying to think about the best ones. There's a matchup between a fourth liner and Martin and Semin. I like Semin's period. I like his, the quickness to his game. He didn't practice yesterday. It was a maintenance day. Justin Peters leaves it for Andre Sekera. At Dwyer in control. A buck 12 left to go in period one. Riley Nash over skates. He saw fault. That's why. Who dumps it in? But Carolina is offside. Uh, that's the only mistake Justin Falk's made all period. He has been really good, especially with his stick in there. He's on the wrong side of the red line, so this is a yeah. key faceoff. And 
and, and Riley Nash is going to take it. The good news is, is he, he's on the side that he can try to win it on his backhand against John Tavares. So icing called here, and that's why we're back in the zone. Good look at the November stash on Justin Falk. Along the boards now, tied up. Falk plays the body on Vanek. It pops out. Under a minute left in period one. Kicked ahead by Martinic. Tavares is lurking. So is Oposo. Good defensive play by Riley Nash. Here they come three on two. It's Nash, Terry, and Dwyer. Riley Nash makes a move on Oposo. Sekera at the point, holding onto it. Looking for a tip. He gets it, but it goes off a body off Martinic. Dvorak along the boards. A four-man scrum. 30 seconds left in period one. John Tavares on the boards for the Islanders. Shortening up on the stick is Sekera. Andre Sekera does a good job. He'll circle. Poulin shuts it down. What an effort by Andre Sekera. Now it's carried out here by Kyle Oposo. 15 seconds left in the period. He gets it deep. Boy, the way that Sekera is jumping in the rush. He had an excellent play to Jordan Stahl for the best chance the first period against the Flyers. Another beauty there. Brock Nelson with a shot absorbed by Ron Hainsey. Peter Regan with a second left, and that'll do it. Shot seven for Carolina, five taken by the New York Islanders. Radek Dvorak will be Chantel McCabe's guest when we kick off the PNC Bank. First intermission. It's a matchup tonight in the Metropolitan Division. It's the Carolina Hurricanes one and the New York Islanders no score. We're back and we take a look at the first period numbers brought to you by Buffalo Brothers. The greatest tenders on planet Earth. Faceoffs have been a key for the Hurricanes in that first period and since... Manny Malhotra has joined this team. Yeah, and the majority of the games have been here in Raleigh, but even in New York and that loss at Madison Square Gardens, the Hurricanes had an edge in the faceoff circle. He's not only been good himself, he's made everybody else better. Eric Stahl, turnaround shot denied by the Islanders goaltender, Kevin Poulin. John Forsman, Trip Tracy, Chantel McCabe, along with our fine crew here at PNC Arena. Second game of a five-game homestand. Hurricanes will host the Minnesota Wild here on Saturday night. They are playing in D.C. tonight against the Capitals. Out of the corner now, a penalty will be called. Tripping is the indication out of that corner. Mike Lego and Mark Jonette officiating this game tonight. Carolina, the 12 minor penalty for tripping. Jack Capiano's uh, team, they lost the game in the second period, giving up four goals to the Washington Capitals, might even been five. So they'll get a chance to turn that ship around with an early power play on fresh ice. And watch the left side of your screen. Oh, I'm not sure Eric Stahl really did anything mm. there. It looked like the Islander player just went down. Second power play for the Islanders, McDonald. John Tavares walks it off the boards. Guarded by Ron Hainsey and Manny Malhotra. Ron's Nielsen miss hitting a pass, good break. For Carolina, and it comes all the way back. I think you said, John, that the Hurricanes didn't even give up give up a shot on the power play New York had in the first period. Major, major pressure, which you have to do against the skilled group. Across the line, now they get it deep. At the point, McDonald holding on to it. Little backhand dish, Franz Nielsen. Inside it goes, waiting to pass Kyle Oposo. Punched by Nielsen, broken up by Brett Belmore. Furthered by Kyle Oposo, top of your screen for John Tavares. Gate to stick Vanek, didn't happen. Now Tavares, midpoint, McDonald, his shot. Good block by Jordan Stahl. Pat Dwyer has it, and away they go. Boy, both guys teaming up, and now they're off, so they keep the shift short. First the block from Jordan, and then the real good clear from Dwyer. McDonald, Nova Scotia native, out to center. Yermark Bouchard over the line. Deals away, nice shift by Josh Bailey. Bouchard at the goal line, holding out of it. His shot denied by Justin Peters out of the corner. Bailey and Stegera come together. Bouchard takes it out for the Isles, gets control. Yermark Bouchard, the veteran, working hard along the boards. Good defense by Justin Falk. It pops out. From his knees, and now back out to neutralize is Travis Hamannick. Boy, Gerby starting that pressure all the way up the ice. Penalty killing a 200-foot game. Josh Bailey, 25 seconds left in the power play. Interrupted by Riley Nash. He'll get it out. Right, John McClain will love this. I mean, he wants it. Look at look at uh, Dvorak doing the same thing. This is where your penalty kill starts right here. You don't sit back and give any ice away. They only have 10 seconds left. Now Matt Martin comes calling. Moving up on Hainsey. This way for Colin McDonald. He'll hunt it down. Hickey inside Sasikas. He went down. McDonald turns away from the pack. 
Not only has been killed now, Casey Sasekis, punched by Aaron Ness wide. Loose this way. Eric Stahl's out of the box. Here he comes. Stahl the line defended by Thomas Hickey. Colin McDonald plays it along the wall for Matt Martin, and the Islanders will escape harm. Carried out by the New Haven, Connecticut native, Colin McDonald, who throws on the brakes. One-timer Hickey wide of Justin Peters. As Sasekis was out in front, now it's Radic Dvorak, who has the game's only goal. He'll get it deep. The Islanders have created a lot of point chances, but they've missed the net on virtually all of them. Belusti. Played by Jay Harrison wide of Kevin Poulin. Alex Simmon. Ryan Murphy at the point. It's a bouncing puck. A wrister tipped right on. Poulin with a pad save. And now Grabner off the boards ahead for Brock Nelson. Nelson cutting, getting room. Holding on to it. Good save by Peters. Harrison has the rebound. And it's played in the center zone by Eric Stahl with Simmon and Tulusti. Here's Tulusti. What a save by Poulin. Stahl shot denied by Kevin Poulin. And the Islanders survive as they get it out. Hurricanes got a real lift from that real good kill. Seven, good job there of leaving that puck instead of playing it on the cross-ice pass. Jay Harrison off the boards all the way back. Radic Martinez is on his horse, pestered by Gerby. Nobody home out in front. Matt Donovan. Knocked out of midair by Kyle Oposo, who has control. Oposo over the line. His shot off the blocker of Peters. Played back to the point. Matt Donovan will go deep. Andre Sekera for Carolina. Off a stick played by Jordan. Not out. They read by Thomas Vanek. Now, Sekera one more time around the boards. Wedged by Derby and back out to neutral ice. Islanders were offside on the transition, so you see it come all the way back and a good look at Andre Sekera. And on the ice on the other side is Vanek, uh, Buffalo teammates. Vanek said that Andre Sekera, one of the most underrated players in the league with the minutes he plays. Riley Nash tries to go outside in on Andrew McDonald. Nash stays with it, out in front. Unattainable pass, glove down here. Justin Falk inside for Duomo Rutu, who's defended by Travis Hammond. A good play. Chris Terry, his pass denied by Kyle Oposo, deep in his own zone. And now a long bomb all the way back, and Brett Belmore has it for Carolina. Well, Terry's a 58, of course. Skinner patented the move as a 53. Terry does a good job of turning his uh, body to receive a pass and find the open man. On the boards it goes. Patrick Dwyer rolls it inside. Andrew McDonald is there. And now moving back to help out the defense. Franz Nielsen played off the boards by Josh Bailey. Here's Pierre-Marc Bouchard pulling up, over skating. Franz Nielsen, he would have been in free. Now Terry back out to center. Chipped along by Manny Malholtra. Back on it here is Thomas Hickey. Uh, played the Swedish League, but Franz Nielsen, uh, born in Denmark, and he's a player that has a, a ton of potential, super passer, but Cap, you want to look for more from it. Islanders offside, 14-26 left to go in the second period. Well, to me, this transitional chance is all about a good kill during the stall minor. Watch the play Semin makes here. I mean, that's just hockey sense. He knows he's not in as good of a position as Toulouse is to shoot this puck. And I, I've liked Semin's game in particular because he's doing everything quicker. And that line had a big night against New York up there a few weeks ago. Here he had his only two goals of the season in that game. But they're moving tonight. I agree now. Back of the goal, Sasekis around the boards. Thomas Hickey with a shot. Tipped wide by Casey Sasekis, who was taken down. Grayson Bowman for the Hurricanes. Malholtra, good pass. And away they go. Murphy, a give off here where it's just wristed ahead by Radek Dvorak. Murphy lost his stick, and the Islanders are on it. Off the driftwood, played here by Matt Martin. A drop pass, Casey Sasekis. Now Martin moves it deep for the Islanders. Top of your screen, it's Justin Falk. Given a shove by Colin McDonald. Yuri Tulusti broken up by the Islanders, Casey Sasekis. Now turning is Matt Martin. He was upended. Martin on a cycle for McDonald. Good play by Justin Falk. And now the Islanders win the battle. They get it back. Here's Martinic. His shot blocked in front. It pinballs this way back out to center ice. The Borak fights off a man, Tulusti. Pass for Eric Stahl. He'll attempt to golf it ahead and will. Now Peter Regan signed in the offseason as an unrestricted free agent. He has control. Regan over the line. Michael Grabner. A late guy, Martinic. Good stick by Andre Sekera. Sekera now again for Carolina back out. They're looking at Nathan Gerby. Gerby over the line in the zone. Turns on the Jets. Walks in. He centers one. Mopped up by Reddick Martinic. And now it's played back here by Jordan Stahl. Martinic for the Islanders. Not out. 
Good keep by Belmore. Martinez again for Vanek. As they scrum along the boards, it pops out. And now John Tavares will hunt it down for the Islanders. Nice shift on Tuomo Rutu. Tavares over the line. He was a finalist for the Hart Trophy as MVP last season. Out of the corner, it's loose. Rutu awaiting the puck now. Vanek is sealed off by Jordan Stahl at the point. McDonald. He'll throttle it down though. Vanek a punch pass. Good play by Belmore. Out of the corner. Vanek again in a cycle. In it goes for John Tavares. Nobody home out in front now. It's Hamannick. His shot off a body blocked by Jordan Stahl. Now Tavares over his stick. He'll get to it. Good quickness by the Islanders. Oposo darts and he centers one. And it greens all the way back. Well, that's a heck of a shift. But the Islanders, I think, because of good awareness and effort from Carolina defensively, were kept to the outside. And blocking shots has been a storyline for Carolina in the first half. Panic in the skates of Nielsen turned out by Carolina's back wire. Shot blocked by McDonald. He got it back off the stick of McDonald wide. Played here by Nielsen. And out they come. He takes a spill. Carried along by Kyle Oposo. Carolina getting back defensively. Got a loose puck. Picked up here by Thomas Vanek. Vanek holding on to it now to the outside. Fancy pass. Good play by Justin Falk with a steal. And he elevates back out to center ice. Now it's Pat Dwyer. Nash for the front. Eric redirects in. Riley Nash attempts to fight off Thomas Hickey. Hickey has control. They play it along the boards, get it out to neutral ice, but the Canes are on it. Boy, other than that late icing play in the first period, Falk's been outstanding here tonight. Cutting in, going to the outside, Chris Terry broken up by Andrew McDonald, and again back out. Pierre Marc Bouchard with Josh Bailey. He'll get it deep in the trapezoid. Justin Peters to the corner. Harrison now. Dvorak sealed off by two four checkers. The Islanders get to it. It's Josh Bailey. Bailey working hard along the boards as we see. 10.52 left to go in period two. Sasika's shot stopped by Peters, and Murphy has the rebound, and Carolina gets it out. Now Murphy won the race from the boards to the net. It was a lively rebound, so he's the guy that gets to that loose puck. Stretch pass intended for Colin McDonald. On the boards, Ryan Murphy got back for Carolina. Harrison moves it. Grayson Bowman can't make it happen. Now Ryan Murphy is control. And the rookie back out to center ice. On and off the stick of Radek Dvorak. Islanders transition again. Here's Colin McDonald. He'll cut his shot. Fended off and covered by Justin Peters. 10-18 left to go in the second period. Carolina with a 1-0 lead at home. Well, we're back in Raleigh. As we went to break, it erupted. We had some fireworks. Yeah, and I think uh, this is one of those spontaneous fights that's probably good for both teams. Barton's trying to get his team going. And Bel Belmore obliges. He doesn't want to see Radic Dvorak have to fight. And somewhere in here, I think Belmore comes in with a right or two. Coming up right here. Surprises him. So that was... Uh, you know, I, I, to be completely blunt, I can't decide where I stand on the, the, the future of fighting because I don't ever want to see somebody suffer the ultimate injury. But if you do believe in it and it having its place, this is anything but a stage fight. It's two players trying to do two separate things to impact the hockey game in a positive manner. Coors Light, cold hard fact. Installment number one, we see Manny Malhotra and we'll elaborate more on what a great ad he has been. I mean, I, I just look at to his positive energy. I mean, the only way he gets back and has a, an incredibly special moment like he did in overtime against Philadelphia, if he has an attitude of gratitude. I think that's what got him here. And it just speaks of his supreme character. Off the faceoff now, the Hurricanes attempt to get it out. We're just about halfway through the second of four meetings. Two points separate the two teams in the Metro Division. Carolina right now two points in back of the Islanders. They defeated the Islanders in the only other meeting on October the 19th at Nassau Coliseum. Now Brock Nelson was taken down off the puck. 9.50 left in the second period. And number two of a five-game homestand. Minnesota's here Saturday night. No pregame show. Saturday night will kick it off at 7 p.m. on Fox Sports Carolinas. The Canes and the Minnesota Wild. He's all the way back in the Carolina zone, and icing is called. Players do a variety of things before games. For Manny Maholtra, it's juggling. Oh, and, and before the bench interview that I had with Manny, I asked him, have you done this juggling your whole career? He said, no, it's really been after the injury. And I think what it does is it just allows, uh, you know, his eyes to really find their groove, if you will. 
And I used to juggle, so important, your hand-eye coordination. Uh, and so that just helps him be the best that he can be. His preparation is second to none. I was gonna say goaltenders do that quite a bit as part of their pregame ritual. Now it's carried along by Michael Grabner. He's been in a bit of an offensive funk for the Islanders. They too have had some players that are stuck in terms of goal scoring. Semin for Carolina from well out, denied by Kevin Poulin. Loose to the corner. Kalusti looking for Eric, broken up at the D. Played top of your screen, a good pinch by Sekera. Now Eric around the boards. Getting to it is Thomas Vanek. He'll get it out. Carolina coming all the way back. 8.57 left to go in the second period. Justin Falk, a lead pass for Eric Stahl. His shot stopped by Poulin. He kicks out a rebound. It's loose. And the Islanders survive, and here they come. John Tavares with Jay Harrison back. He'll cut. Hit hard by Harrison. Floored on the play, and Carolina right back at him. Three on two. Alex Semin delays, pulls up. He's pestered by Matt Donovan. He gets help from Thomas Vanek, and here they come again. Tavares. For the Poso, Donovan, Tavares walks in, Peters holding his ground and getting to it is Alex Semin. I'm not sure if Peters made a save there, but he forced Tavares to go wide just by standing tall and being square. Kevin Poulin swallowing that shot taken by Ryan Murphy, and we get a stoppage. 8.14 left to go in the second period from Raleigh. Back in second period action, it's 1-0 Canes in part thanks to number 35. Goalie coach Greg Steffen said he was very pleased with Justin Peters' game versus the Flyers. And they looked at tape from the Rangers game, and he said that Peters moved very well. His movement improved, and also his rebound control improved. That brings us to the tonight's Geico quote, where Greg Steffen says he's a professional. He wants to get better. He's doing everything in his power to get better, and you never have to worry about his preparation. Guys? I just like how square he is. He's mm -hmm. committed to his job, and then if he can do something beyond his job, if somebody else uh, makes a mistake, that's a bonus. Matt Donovan now off a stick. Josh Bailey, Franz Nielsen, Bailey again. Checking him is Nathan Gerby. From the center zone, Gerby attempts to move it forward. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always. Donovan through the middle, 1-0 Carolina. A first period goal scored by Radek Dvorak. Shots are 15-10, Hurricanes. For the most part, Carolina has made some of their sharpest second period long changes that I can remember in some time, and you have to have that against a team that can skate. A chance for Rutu off the stick of Radek Martinez. We did not have a contract earlier this season. As a matter of fact, when we were on Long Island in mid-October, he was just skating with the Islanders without a contract. On the center zone, it's played by Matt Donovan for Pierre-Marc Bouchard, and they attempt to get it deep. Well, he's spoken about Carolina's injuries in key positions. That game up on Long Island, Luberbeer Vizhnovsky got hurt. He's a key defenseman to be out of this New York lineup. He was hit by Radek Dvorak, has not played since. Pat Dwyer with a shot off a stick of McDonald. It stays in play. Moved by Chris Terry. Along the boards now, Riley Nash for the Hurricanes, holding on to it. Nash fighting off Peter Regan. Staying with it, protecting the puck well. Broken up by Travis Hamanick. Played along the boards by Brock Nelson, not out. Turning is Ron Hainsey for the Canes as they scrum along the boards. And Hainsey now will just get it deep. Andrew McDonald takes a hit, dumps it back out to center ice. Hainsey fights off a man, sets up Radek Dvorak, who sends it right back in. The defensemen in particular, they're changing before they're tired. And that's so important for especially the far defensemen you know, when you're in the second period, because fatigue can become a, a real issue, and that's where you give up chances. Justin Falk in his own zone. Andre Sekera, forechecked by John Tavares, and it comes all the way back as we see in the Islanders' zone. Thomas Hickey is on it. Flushed out by Radek Dvorak, who stays with it. Nice job by the referee along the far side, that being Mark Jonette. Now Kyle Oposo off a stick out to center, and with speed, it's Thomas Vanek. To the outside, a shot stopped and covered by Justin Peters. 5.50 left to go in the second period. His team is up by one. We're back in Raleigh as we see Ryan Murphy. Radek Dvorak has the game's only goal. The Canes by one. Well, how about this play by Movember Murphy? His job here huh. is to take away the pass, but at the last second, if he can deny the shot, 
It's a bonus, and he does it beautifully. Two OHL products, Tavares and Murphy. What a stick play. Now he's involved in November? Clearly. Ryan is? Yeah, okay. Well, I don't keep track of these things. I know you, you're taking part, too, and I commend you for it, along with many of the players, front office staff of the Hurricanes. Jordan Stahl now in control. Out to center ice. He has some room. Three defenders back for the Islanders. Nathan Gerby from well out, denied by Kevin Poulin. Jordan Stahl taking off the puck. Now Aaron Ness with John Tavares. They transition out to the center zone, and coming back is Aaron Ness. He was Mr. Hockey in the state of Minnesota, best high school player in 08. Aaron Ness recalled today from the American Hockey League. Dean's Corner at the Backyard Bistro on 99.9 The Fan with the great Mike Maniscalco. The next one, November the 14th, and Manny Malhotra at 7 p.m. will be the guest. Sponsored by Coors Light and the great folks at Backyard Bistro. That Mr. Hockey Award is a very, very prestigious award in Minnesota. And of course, the Wild coming in Saturday night. I'm not sure if Parisi won that or not. But that is, I mean, you look at the list of guys who have won that, that's yeah. a heck of a list. You know, he's from Roseau, too, way up there, where Dustin Bufflin yes. hails from. Yes. Now Sasekas in back of the goal to the outside. Casey Sasekas makes a move. Good play. Here's Donovan standing on a shot. McDonald off the boards. Colin McDonald. And now Simmons triggers back. Stall away for Toulouse, and out they go. Gary Toulouse, Murphy joins the fun. Holding, shooting one. Off a stick, off Martinic. Played down low by Matt Donovan. Now uh, Sasekas back out to center ice. Intended for Colin McDonald, and back on it is Jay Harrison. Under five minutes left in the second period. 1-0 Carolina. Now Eric Stahl. This way for Yuri Toulouse. He'll send it across for Alex Simmons. Delaying, holding, shooting one. Denied by Kevin Poulin. Matt Donovan now to the outside, holding on to that puck and back out to center ice. Mark Nelson goes deep, out of the reach of Michael Grabner. Peter Regan. Grabner now in the corner. Bottled up by Riley Nash. Out to center ice, it's Chris Terry. Little dump and chase, he gets after it. Good play by Terry. Taken down by Hamannick. Right between the legs of Kevin Pullen. And the Islanders survive. Back out, Brock Nelson. Pulling up. Defensive numbers back for Carolina. Good job by Dwyer. Now it's Nash. All the way across for Terry. Holding. Shooting one denied by Kevin Pullen. Excellent shift for Chris Terry. And a heck of a back check from Patrick Dwyer. And the Hurricanes have earned their chances here tonight. It's been good. Defense just with work and then a heck of a feed. Chris Terry's got a very heavy shot at any level. And Poulin locates it, makes the stop. This was the one that he was caught in no man's land at the beginning of that shift for a line that I think's been very solid. Nash with those two wingers. Fourth round pick in 07. Plymouth Whalers. Chris Terry. Given the time this season and developed in the American Hockey League. Andrew McDonald wide of Justin Peters. Played by Travis Hamannick. You see it come all the way back. It's Franz Nielsen. They lay it off for Pierre-Marc Bouchard. His former team, the Minnesota Wild, here on Saturday night. Now Nielsen out in front. Good defense coming all the way back that time. An excellent back check by Drayson Bowman. Here's Ryan Murphy. Murphy with a shot. Stopped by Poulin. He was looking for the rebound. He got it. Malholtra was out in front. Manny Malholtra going down. Drayson Bowman for the Canes. Broken up. And it's carried out here by Franz Nielsen. Josh Bailey going wide. Bailey holding onto it now. Drop pass for Nielsen. His shot deflects off Bouchard wide. Aaron Ness inside for Pierre-Marc Bouchard. Up top it goes low to high. Hickey, his shot tipped high by Josh Bailey. It stays in play. Aaron Ness picked off. Carolina will start from their own zone in the person of Jordan Stahl. Jordan over the line. Justin Falk moving wide. The return favor doesn't work. And now to Omorutu will keep it deep. Boy, Jordan Stahl's legs are really moving. And sooner or later, and it's, and it's north-south hockey. It's not east-west. I mean, that's good to see off of his goal against Philly. Point to point they go. Sekera. Bothered by Kyle Oposo, who has control. Up down here by Tuomo Rutu. Rutu steps in, shifts gears, cuts, he goes down. Play continues out of the corner now. Hickey ties up Jordan. Thomas Vanek for the Islanders. 
on the tape of John Tavares cutting. Tavares has two defenders on him. It was Belmore who has the puck and Sekera. Tavares again though gets it back. Skate to stick Donovan. He'll move it deep. Andre Sekera for Carolina for Tuomo Rutu. They start again. Rutu's get oh that's a tough play. There's a there. steal. Panic holding onto it all the way across. Martinik will play it off the boards. Now Matt Donovan. All the way across, Tavares holding on to it. Oposo bottled up at the defense and frozen by Justin Peters. And it breaks out. Brett Belmore, John Tavares. Kyle Oposo is in there too. And everybody comes together. I, I was just going to say that Tomo Rutu's game is starting to really round into form. But this is one of the only times, if not only time, that the Hurricanes with the long second period change. You can see how tired he is. They got caught on the ice too long. And Rutu had a chance to clear a puck. He wasn't able to do so. Yeah. And it's Belmore coming off a fight that actually maybe saves a goal with his, with his left hand right here. Actually, his right hand, excuse me. I mean, it's just effort, Island sacrifice. One for an Islanders, two minutes each for roughing. Yeah, that puck may have gone in. Maybe Peters gets a piece of it with the glove, but that, that's the only time I can think of in the period where with that long change, the Hurricanes as a group have gotten caught staying on the ice too long, missed a clearing attempt off of Rutu stick, and it nearly cost him a goal. Control calls by the officials here. Belmore for Carolina. Oposo for the Islanders each. Two minutes for roughing at 18.26. Prior to that, Drayson Bowman, heck of a back check. And so far, what an opportunity for Bowman to go to school with Wiley veterans, Radek Dvorak and Manny Malhotra. Well, so far, his willingness to go to school has been right there. And that's a key play that he made on his last shift. 94 seconds left in the period as the boys get a break. We'll go to four-on-four -four hockey, Carolina. They've scored once, given up two in this scenario. The same holds true for the New York Islanders. The Islanders will be at Columbus the same night the Hurricanes host Minnesota. That'll be Saturday night. This is game number two of a four-game road trip that ends in Montreal for the Islanders. As far as the Hurricanes are concerned, a five-game homestand. Senate moved along by Jay Harrison off a stick, and it goes out of play. Jay Harrison's gap has been tighter tonight. That's the difference when he's really, really effective. Is can he, you know, really prevent shots from getting through with his, his stick? And Murphy, what I like most about him is he's played the game like he has on most nights when the Hurricanes get behind with his puck moving. Now Harrison goes wide, wristing one off a skate, off Semin out in front. Now Ryan Murphy. Shifting down the wall, holding onto it. He'll deliver a pass for Alexander Semin, who's defended by McDonald. They stay with it, though. Eric Stahl on the outside. Under a minute left to go in the second period. Semin pulls up. Alex Semin in control. Good pass. Here's Harrison. Good stick, though. A steal. And here comes the speedy Michael Grabner. Get alone for a chance. Peter says no. Oh, what a dandy on Michael Grabner. Now McDonald holding onto it. Andrew McDonald off a stick. 35 seconds left to go in the period. Here come the Hurricanes out of gas. Is Alex Simmons, Travis Hamannick coming all the way back. Now they battle along the boards. 25 seconds left to go in the second. Eric's pass swept along by McDonald. Played by Simmons off a skate. Held in. Sekera. Andre Sekera on the change. It's Dwyer. His shot to flex high. Loose impact of the goal for Eric. Eric holding on to it. Nobody home, but now it's Sekera getting to it. A tight turn. Andre Sekera puts on a show for Dwyer. Held in front off a stick. Four seconds left to go in the period. Here's Eric. His shot blocked by Andrew McDonald. And the Islanders get it out. What a save. Just as I say it, Harrison, a turnover he'd like to have back. He'd be the first one to tell you. And what a stop. Now, I'll tell you, Semin might have rushed Grabner just a bit with his work coming back. I think he might have allowed Peters to say that Grabner's only option was to go to the forehand. So compliments to Semin, but the last line of defense, he's riding a wave of confidence from his first win of the year, and that's a heck of a move to the blocker side. Stay tuned for the PNC second intermission. Chantel will speak with newcomer Chris Terry. We'll have scores from around the NHL, highlights and analysis from the booth. Shots 18 for Carolina. 
Only 12 taken by the New York Islanders. We've had some rough stuff. Only one goal. Carolina Hurricanes won. And the New York Islanders, no score. Carolina Hurricanes hockey is brought to you by ADT. Visit ADT.com slash sports to enter for a chance to win an ADT security and home automation system. We're back inside PNC Arena, second of four meetings inside the Metro Division. And the Hurricanes on a first period goal by Radek Dvorak have a 1-0 lead over the New York Islanders as we kick off this third period. Down Forsland, Trip Tracy, Chantel McCabe, who is at ice level, along with our great crew. Ryan Murphy, a shot right away, stopped by Kevin Pullen. And the Islanders peel back. I'll tell you what, whether it's kilometers an hour or miles per hour, Ryan Murphy had a speeding ticket there. Michael Grabner with a shot wide of Justin Peters. Travis Hamannick for the Islanders, intended for Michael Grabner now. Alex Simon in control around the boards this way for Jay Harrison. A long pass detected on a line change brought in by Tavares. Peters says no, and a chance by Grabner, and he'll melt it down. Well, with the goaltender size is only size if you put yourself in a position to use it. Boy, Murphy, when I said it, he was flying up the ice. I mean flying on the fresh ice. And at the end of it all, Justin Peters, very, very square collarbone to take away the upper half. But again, it's his defensemen that allow him to cover a lively rebound. Top line comes out for Jack Capuano. Tavares, Vanek, Oposo. Aaron Ness with a shot. Tavares in front, fanned on by Oposo. Brought out of the zone by Carolina's Jordan Stahl. Broke off his stick. Justin Falk now denied by Oposo. Now it's brought here by Jordan. Intended for Nathan Kirby in the trapezoid, Kevin Fuller. Thomas Hickey now on the wall, turning with it is Thomas Vanek. In his third game as a New York Islander, he'll get it deep. Icing is called here. Hurricane Jews, two capable centermen on that defensive zone draw. Doug Wade, a Hurricane Stanley Cup champion, a Michigan native. The next time we see the Islanders, he will be a member of the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame with, among other members, Carolina owner Pete Carmanis, who will go and boy oh boy is that long overdue you talk about a citizen that has given the world to USA hockey total commitment at all levels to this great sport now it goes deep Eric Stahl away from Tavares through the goal mouth broken up here and carried out of the zone by Kyle Oposo he'll scale it in on Justin Peters who has looked at 13 shots thus far 19 for the Hurricanes on Kevin Poulin now Eric Stahl goes deep it goes hard around. Laid out of the corner by Andrew McDonald. Taken off by Toulouse. Simmons pass detected on the way through now. Chopped along by Ron Hainsey. Peter Regan. Rock Nelson. Given a shove by Brett Belmore out to center. It's Peter Regan to the outside of Toulouse. Regan holding on to it. He centers one. Good sticks out in front. Hamannick point to point. Getting it back from McDonald. His wrister turned out with a purpose by Peters. Alex Semin in control. He'll go off on a change and roll it ahead. Played by McDonald for Brock Nelson. Nelson for the Islanders makes a cut on Jay Harrison, who plays him well. Bouchard to the corner. Nielsen off the body off Murphy. Now Brock Nelson with a shot cut off by Peters. The rebound for Pierre-Marc Bouchard. Indirect pass Donovan. His shot blocked in front. Laid off the glass here by Riley Nash. And away they go. Nash through the center zone, gets it deep for the Canes. Kevin Poulin now makes it happen for Josh Bailey. Yermark Bouchard, Bailey again, now Nielsen. Franz Nielsen pulls up. Pass detected by Dwyer. Nash splits the D. He'll roll it in. A good look at Nielsen ahead of Chris Terry. Matt Donovan on the board. Let go by Bouchard. Now a foot race and Sekera gets there ahead of Josh Bailey. That was a job by Dwyer there. The, the Hurricanes have taken away the middle of the ice against the speed of New York. Although New York's had a good early push like they did back in the first period. Out of the corner now. Matt Martin plays the body on his man, Mal Holtra. Islanders start fresh. Casey Sasikas, Colin McDonald interrupted. And because of that, interrupt by Sekera, the play is offside. I love Simmons game tonight because he's been moving his feet. Here he's going to get cross-checked from Oposo, and it's in an area where there's no equipment. And that easily could have been a penalty. Hopefully, Semin's okay, but at the end of his shift, Semin wasn't able to get a puck deep. Those are the details of the game. 
that you really, really need in a tight one like tonight. Belmore's pass, unattainable for Toulouse. This is icing. 16.38 left to go in the third period. A disagreement of sorts between Brett Belmore and Matt Martin again right in front of that Carolina bench. I think Martin wanted to go again, and if you're Belmore, right. why would you go right now? I mean, he's been a key defensive player for Dave Lewis uh, working his three sets. I mean, I love the three defensemen that Lewis, uh, the three sets of defensemen that Dave is going with. And aside from his fight, remember that right arm block that Belmore had that might have saved a goal in the second. I wouldn't fight if I were him right now. And for Martin's side, if you can go to defensemen, get them down to 5D for a period of time. I guess he does a good job. Now it's Vanek. Vanek holding on with the pass. Played back in the neutral zone by Thomas Hickey paired with Aaron Ness. This is Ness now in control. D to D for Hickey. Just about four minutes gone in period three. Hickey over the line on Jordan going wide. Holding on to his centers one. Broken up by Justin Falk with a tight turn on John Tavares. Good skating by Justin Falk out to center stall. Jordan across for route two. Back for Falk behind him. Jordan now will keep it deep. Here's Cuomo Rutu defended by Thomas Hickey. Travis Hamanick for the Islanders not out. The wall sealed by Andre Sekera. That's the next step where I know there's that temptation for Rutu to pass that puck, but to fire it at the net with that center drive. Jordan's pass picked off by Travis Hamanick. Nathan Gerby with a steal. Out in front off the paddle of Kevin Poulin. Getting to it, Sekera. Now Jordan to the outside of Hickey. Jordan Stahl hangs on with a backhand shovel wide. Getting to it is Sekera. Sekera from the corner. A deflected pass onto the stick of Kyle Oposo. And away they go. He'll get it deep. And now a disturbance. Travis Hamanek and Nathan Gerby. And the Hurricanes will possibly take away and will take away a very important Islander defenseman in this situation. And, and they may get another, uh, their second power play of the night out of it, and Derby goes right back to the area where he got entangled with the Flyers. Mark Streit, he got the extra two in that one. I think that Derby may have drawn the extra two in this one, and the Canes will potentially get a man advantage. Hey, Derby just uh, continues to show the desire against a guy that's a, practically a foot taller than him. You see the, the referee's arm was up. I think he was calling the initial penalty on the shutdown. Islander defenseman Hamannick mm. left to see how it shakes out. Okay. You got to go to those scoring zones if you're Nathan Gerby. Pay a price sometimes and that's okay. Kirk Muller now will take a look at this situation. We'll get the calls. Maybe they cancel out. 15.25 left to go in this third period. By the look on the face of Doug Waite, I think you're right. So you lose a key penalty killer in Hamannick. This is a heck of an opportunity here. Okay, should the Canes score on the Duke Energy power play, Caniacs who say the winning phrase receive a free Bowberry biscuit from participating Bojangles restaurants. Bojangles, it's bow time and it's power play time for Carolina. Aaron Stahl, inside it goes. A double minor for roughing on Hamannick. Two minutes for roughing on Carolina's Nathan Gerby. This is Justin Falk. Ryan Murphy in control. Second power play for Carolina. The pass absorbed by Sasikas. Shot taken, blocked on the way through. The shot from Tulusti. Turning is Ryan Murphy. From the wall, across it goes, encumbering Tulusti. Tulusti back now for Falk, but gives back. Gary Tulusti one more time. Here's the captain. Eric Stahl holding on to it to the outside. Tulusti at the goal line goes wide. Back again for Falk. Justin Falk thinks about a shot. Now it's Ryan Murphy's turn. Tipped. It goes high off the stick of Semin. Semin hunts down a loose puck. Back again for Murphy. He'll dust it off a couple of times. Falk around the clock it goes. Skate the stick to Lusky. Now Eric Cutting. A shot turned out by Poulin. Now it's played top of your screen by Michael Grabner. Not out. Justin Falk. His pass all the way deep intended for Alex Semin. Two Hurricanes on it. Now Matt Donovan for the Islanders. Off the boards. Held in by Falk. Inside again. Gloved ahead. Not out by Donovan. Swung across by Falk. Intended for Murphy. Now a breakaway maybe for Grabner. Falk has the angle. Good skating angle by Justin Falk. Short-handed Michael Grabner. Off the stick of Falk. 
Played again and moved deep by Thomas Hickey. Key adjustment for the first period. In the power play, the first period, Chris Terry was with Murphy on the point. Late in the game, 1-0, he used Falk, and that was the difference between a breakaway and not for Grappler. Chris Terry with a shoot-in, getting to it is Jordan Stahl. Around the board, Sekera. Center zone, 10 seconds left in the power play. Jay Harrison. Cuomo Rutu now for Carolina. Rutu outside the stripe, protected by Franz Nielsen. Played again by Harrison. Kevin Poulin in control, and Bouchard serving the extra penalty is out of the box. It goes by Pierre-Marc Bouchard. He gets control, and now in the zone, moving up here. Nielsen shot. Good save by Justin Peters. Carolina in control. At the point, McDonald. They saddle it down deep. Sekera for the Hurricanes, read by Josh Bailey. Pierre-Marc Bouchard to the outside. Bouchard holding on to it, defended by Carolina's Riley Nash. It goes off a stick, played off the boards by Rutu and back out. Has the, have the Islanders had any second chances? I can't think of any off the top of my head. You think? We'll go to break. 12.49 left, regulation top. Carolina Hurricanes hockey is brought to you by Kangaroo Express, your home of the $1.50 dog and drink. By Moe's Southwest Grill, welcome to Moe's. By the North Carolina Education Lottery. Play Powerball with Power Play. Jackpots start at $40 million. By Raleigh Orthopedics, go where the pros go. Raleigh Orthopedics. And by Golden Corral, help yourself to happiness. Inside the beautiful confines of PNC Arena, Jordan Stahl and the Carolina Hurricanes with a 1-0 lead over their division rivals, the New York Islanders. 12.45 left in this third period. By Kevin Fuller. They battle along the board. Second of four meetings. Carolina winning round number one on Long Island, October 19th, 4 to 3. Jordan Stahl in control. Ron Hainsey on the back end for Kirk Muller. Cuomo Rutu is defended by Radic Martinic, and now the Islanders start fresh through the center zone, sent deep by Thomas Vanek. Around the boards it goes. Oposo taken off the puck. It's dug out by John Tavares. Tavares rolls it deep. Oposo rubbed out by Ainsey. Vanek along the end wall. Broken up by Justin Falk. Islanders pinch at the point. It was Hickey. Oposo for Vanek now. Tavares defended by Justin Falk again. Manny Maholtra will chip it to himself, but Thomas Hickey is back. That's three or four key skate blocks for Falk. He's had an outstanding game tonight. Now Sekera off the boards, out to center. Carolina, a little break off the lines, but it goes deep now. Matt Donovan looking for Casey Sasekis with Colin McDonald. Sasekis has good speed to the outside. Off the paddle of Justin Peters, out of the corner now. It's Sasekis one more time. Casey Sasekis off Sekera. Side of the goal, they fight for it. And the net off the pegs, as we see. We get a stoppage and a disturbance. By the way, I did some thinking as it looks like cooler heads will prevail. The only second chance that I think New York has generated was that key play as Hickey came in on the back door yeah. in the first period. And Peters made his save of the night. Yep. That's the only. That's how yeah, good the guys right. have been in front of Justin. I don't remember any other second chances. He's been super, Justin, but he's given a few rebounds. That's something that's always going to be there with him, and the guys have... It really denied any second attempts. He stopped the first one. And I'll tell you what. We all know, and the Caniacs know, that Carolina Alehouse is the host for Cool Bars. The next one, Canes will be in Detroit City on November 21st, taking on the Red Wings. Log on to carolinahurricanes.com for more details. Brock Nelson now turns away from Jay Harrison. Peter Regan. Eric Stahl is on him. Good sweep check by Eric. Back out to center ice. Just about nine minutes gone in this third period. 1-0 Carolina. Michael Grabner goes to work. He'll turn off the stick of Ryan Murphy. Captured by Toulouski. Now it's Semin. Moving in for a shot that goes high. Loose for Yuri Toulouski. Toulouski goes deep. Semin out of the corner. The pass unattainable off the stick of Grabner. And all the way back. Semin just needs one to go in for him. I actually looked at some video of a lot of his goals. He's averaging the same number of shots as when he scored 40 goals for the Washington Capitals. So it's not like he's shooting the puck less. I think that the key is he's got to find a way to penetrate and shoot from the scoring areas. Take a look at the shots just a moment ago. It comes all the way back. Icing is called here. 
10.32 left to go in this third period. Let's tell the story of this game, starting with a goal scored by Radek Dvorak. Well, it was a job of Peters leaving the puck for Murphy. Eventually, you gain entry in a line that's been really good. Hainsey gets the middle. Dvorak creates a positioning advantage and gets a good bounce. And this was the same. The only second chance I can remember on Hickey after an icing play. Clean win. Martinic. Donovan off the end wall. Murphy lays it for Carolina. Chopped by Chris Terry. Not out. To the corner now. Franz Nielsen. Top of your screen. Josh Bailey run into by Jay Harrison. Now Nielsen down deep. Centers one by Bouchard. By Donovan. And all the way back. Matt Donovan. Ahead of Patrick Dwyer. Deflected pass in control. Franz Nielsen over the line in the zone. Nielsen to the outside of Hainsey. Centers one. Peters shuts the door on Pierre-Marc Bouchard. And the Canes get it out. Boy, he, he, he just will not leave that short side post, Peters. I mean, that's a preventable chance because Nash was right there, but Peters was good. Coors Light pulled hard back. So take a look at takeaways and what they mean. And they are very important to both the Hurricanes and the Islanders right behind the defending Stanley Cup champions. Yeah, that's an impressive statistic for both of these hockey clubs. And I don't know what the score is in Columbus between Metropolitan rivals, the Blue Jackets, and the Rangers. Whoever wins this game is, is in the playoffs tomorrow morning, it looks like. Now it's played here by Aaron Nett. He'll go deep. Circle one out in front. It deflects back out to center ice. Now in control, it's Thomas Hickey. Over the line, now they cross. The Rangers lead that game 3-2 early in the third period at Columbus. Now, 30 with a shot swallowed by Kevin Poulin. No further play. 9.29 left to go in this third period. 1-0. Hurricanes. Back at PNC Arena, the only goal scored tonight by Radek Dvorak. And can you imagine wearing the same thing for 15 years? How about the same equipment for 15 years? That's what Radek Dvorak does with those pads you see right there, his shoulder pads. The only thing he's ever replaced are the caps you see, the warrior caps on his shoulder. And that was because of a rule change. They now make players wear soft foam instead of plastic. Now he's had lots of repairs, obviously, over the years, sweating in these things. Different color stitching, you can tell that he's had so many repairs. But it's all about the comfort factor. He's tried new stuff but he always goes back to those pads, guys. He's got air fresheners built in there. <laughs> Boy, he's been an excellent acquisition. Braddock, Braddock. He sure has. And he's sure better after all these years. Now Martin out in front. Broken up. Good defensive position by Yuri Tulusti. The top line is out for Kirk Muller. 9.05 left. Third period play. <laughs> one nothing Hurricanes. Mr. Dvorak has the game's only goal. Martin. Long pass for Colin McDonald. Gap closed on him by Jay Harrison. They scrum for it. Out of the corner. Kalusti ties up his man as they go deep. That's Andrew McDonald. As you see it up close. Pat Martin tries to dig it out for the Islanders. Kalusti has McDonald pinned. Now Martin moves it off a of body. And Carolina patiently out of the zone. Murphy for Eric. He'll go cross corner. Heading to a loose puck is Tuomo Rutu. Muscled by Kyle Oposo. Nathan Gerby keeps the legs moving. Back to the point. Sekera. His shot fought off by Pula. And he got to the rebound as Jordan Stahl was on the doorstep. A good job by Kevin Poulin. Now through the center zone. It's gloved down by Tuomo Rutu. Puck is on edge. He settles it down, and Poulin handles that one. That almost goal was all about Eric Stahl at the end of his shift going cross-corner with a dump in because Rutu was fresh leg. So that's a retrievable puck. He goes in and gets it to Tuomo. You nearly score. Carolina with a quick up. Dvorak with a shot. A tough angle snared by Kevin Poulin, and no further play. I love that. It was a three-on-three -three down low. Okay, and Toulouse was involved with the two defensemen, and so Eric Stahl eventually comes up with the puck. Rutu's on the ice, which tells you Semin changed at the right time, and Eric Stahl got to the red line, and he thought about rimming it, but then he saw Rutu was going, so he cross-cornered it. Tuomo gets to it first. That is the, what you're looking for, just a temporary loss of possession. Off the draw now, they're in control. Out in front, Franz Nielsen. Plays it along for Thomas Hickey. 7.39 left in regulation time. Aaron Ness going back in his own zone. Around the boards now. Intended for Pierre-Marc Bouchard and all the way back. 
Ron Hainsey. Golfed by Chris Terry, not out. Out of the corner. Pierre Marc Bouchard is tied up. Josh Bailey, a delayed penalty against Carolina. Shot taken wide through a screen. Point man Matt Donovan let it fly. Nielsen, Matt Donovan holding. Here it comes off a stick off wire. Now they center again. Finally, Riley Nash gets possession. And Carolina goes down a man. Yeah, it's going to be a hold. The Islanders will get a believer. What's their third power player of the game, Johnny? Yes. And Ronnie Haynes, he will be guilty. Let's watch. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Bouchard did a good job of keeping his whole body moving and drawing the call. Power play, or the penalty killing has been a real story here. A highly pressurized kill that starts all the way up the ice. It is Oposo taking the face off. Won by Carolina's Malhotra. Out of the corner now, Jordan Hart pressed by Thomas Vanek. Oposo with Vanek at his side. Third power play for New York. Drop pass, good play with desperation by Manny Malhotra, and you see it come back. And, and usually it's Dwyer with Jordan Stahl, but it's got to be Manny because you want two guys that can take the defensive face off and then Manny's second effort does the rest. Andrew McDonald drops it off. Franz Nielsen over the line. Along the boards, Oposo, Nielsen moves it. Top of your screen, it's John Tavares. Flushed out by Pat Dwyer. Nielsen a give back. McDonald at the point. From the boards, turning Tavares, his shot picked off by Justin Peters. A dandy with 6.17 left. That shot from Tavares, I mean, it's a heck of a snare, but it still, I believe, comes from on the board side of the dot. Yeah. He, he, I mean, Justin Peters is going to make that save. You're going to give up that shot, even to a Hart Trophy finalist. And let's see if they've got... Well, now they've just got Manny and Dvorak out, so Manny's got to make sure that he doesn't get booted here to win this draw, probably on the forehand of the boards. Josh Bailey was the centerman for Capuano. Clean win by Mel Holtra. It deflects all the way back. And now Kevin Poulin puts it on a tee for Matt Donovan. You see the time left on the Islander power play. Hurricanes live following our game tonight as always. Now it's played by Bailey. He's taken down by Harrison. Delmore in control, and Carolina will get out of Dodge as they clear it out. That's a face-off specialist. They can have the confidence to go on the backhand because usually players don't on that side because they run the risk of powering it into their own net. This is Pierre-Marc Bouchard gaining entry. Justin Falk in back of Peters. Played a pen in the center zone. And a loose puck with recovery by Bailey. Otherwise, Pat Dwyer's in alone. Michael Grabner. Colin McDonald, Grabner hit hard as he crossed the line. Now Donovan holding onto it in the ring. They work it back to Shard. Donovan this way, Bailey out in front. One pass too many. Bouchard again. McDonald off his stick. Good play. Andre Sekera. And out they go. Sekera killing time in the zone shorthanded. Poked away by Matt Donovan. Five seconds left in the power play. This is Josh Bailey. Final push for the Islanders. He leaves it for Carolina's Andre Sekera, and they kill it off. I, I mean, there's zero chances inside that proverbial box that the penalty killers form. Buck is fed in by Kyle Oposo. Two shots for the Islanders. They are 0 for 3 with a power play tonight. Now Semin over the line, darts, has room, lays it off, and is it? Great defensive play. Coming all the way back was John Tavares. Now it's carried out by Andrew McDonald. McDonald thwarted in the center zone by Alex Semin. In support is Eric. Now Semin holding, dragging. His shot flung wide, possibly off the pad of Poulin. Now Oposo out to center ice. Shot ahead by Ron Hainsey. You see the route of Eric Stahl coming back underneath and on the defensive side of the puck to create that chance for Semin. Those the three guys in the big line, their habits have been great. Here come the Islanders, Brock Nelson. Nelson rubbed out by Ron Hainsey. Stays with it, though. Nelson holding on to it on a cycle. Peter Regan will stop and start. He's checked by Dwyer. Islanders wheel that cycle. Grabner canceled a good play by Falk on him. Carolina gets it back out to center ice. Islanders on the regroup. Here they come. Over the line, Brock Nelson forging ahead. Good defensive play by Ron Hainsey. And the Hurricanes get it out again. The stick is the great equalizer. Hainsey 
pinches up a little bit too much, but he's able to close it and cause the turnover with that stick. 3.29 left through the center zone. Franz Nielsen, good sweep check by Dvorak. Here come the Hurricanes. Grayson Bowman with a shot off the body off Matt Donovan. Now it's played by Bowman for Malholdra. He's checked by Donovan. Played along the boards now. Sakura for Carolina. Bowman looking for Malholtra. Grayson Bowman diligent in that corner. Broken up by Martinic now. Malholtra for Dvorak. Dvorak to the outside by Malholtra. All the way in. Bowman taken off the play. Matt Donovan for the Islanders. A loose clear. Held in. It's Belmore. Shot down by Pula. Wilson back of the goal now to the corner. It goes for Bouchard. And Pierre-Marc Bouchard now will carry that puck. Back out to center ice. Bouchard in control. On the flank for Josh Bailey. Back to the point it goes. Buried here by Matt Donovan. Donovan out of the corner. Matt at the defense. 235 left all alone. Kamenek stopped by Peters. 233 left in this third period. We're going down the stretch in Raleigh. Kevin Poulin comes up big right here on Brett Belmore. We're back in Raleigh. The late stages will update you on the Storm Tracker, our game keys tonight. I have actually liked Stahl, Semin, and Toulouse more than I did than when they combined for six points the last time against New York because they fought in. They played the game the right way. The penalty killing has been the biggest star for Carolina because they haven't forced Peters to be relied on very much, but boy, has he made those first saves when he's needed to. We'll keep an eye on Kevin Poulin. 2.29 on the clock. Rugby-like scrum off the faceoff. Dug out here by Jordan Stahl and back out. Granik Dvorak scoring at 6.39 of period one. The only goal tonight. Along the boards, Manny Malholtra back out. A rolling puck in control. McDonald swooping back to Veris. Skate to stick. Kyle Laposo will send it back. 2.05 left in regulation time as Andrew McDonald gets it deep. Andre Sekera looking around. Bullen is halfway out. Along the boards, forged ahead by Hammock. Now a chance to Barris. Out in front, loose puck in the crease. Tavares now almost made it happen. Now it's Sekera. Off the glass, Hamannick as Poulin stays put for now. Oposo goes deep. 140 left. Poulin looking at the bench. Tavares. Thomas Vanek. Vanek flushed out by Sekera. Vanek in control. Good stick. Good play by Justin Falk. Here's Pat Dwyer. He'll cushion it down low. How many good stick plays has Falk made? He needed to make that because that puck doesn't get not only out but deep. You've got some very tired bodies. Ulan now looks at the bench. Carolina keeps him right there as they get it deep. Eric Stahl handling the chores. 1.13 left to go in this third period. Islanders start the breakout. It's Bouchard. Poulin to the bench. Six skaters out for Jack Capuano. Ron Hainsey in control. Two four checkers on him. Here's Josh Bailey. Bailey holding on to it. One minute left in regulation time. Aaron Ness along the boards. Pierre-Marc Bouchard. A loose puck forged ahead by Carolina Stahl. Not out. Now a loose play. Kalusti has control. Simon was lurking. And now Pierre-Marc Bouchard back the other way. Ness for Bailey. In front it goes, shot along and kicked out by Peters, off the stick of Martin Hickey with a shot, he got underneath it Wilson back of the goal, hit off the pegs, blown dead I love the fact that Kirk Muller goes to his big line, centered by Eric Stahl with the lead here and what does it represent? They may not have any points, but they have played the game the exact right way and that's why the Hurricanes are 33 seconds away from winning this one Kirk's talked about the process, playing the game the right way. Don't beat yourselves. And that's why Carolina, with all passengers, I think with no passengers in this one, every all hands on deck, has a chance to win a big game. 33 seconds left in regulation time. Timeout has been called. This is the this Islanders is calling their timeout. Jack Cop Capuano now will go over the strategy with 33 seconds on the clock. Well, this is a situation where I would expect Mel Halter takes the draw, but Jordan Stahl will also be available. It's going to be on Manny's side. He usually uses the backhand on either side in the defensive zone. But Jordan will be there as a safety valve. I'm just really impressed with this hockey game. I, I, it shows a complete buy-in to me. You know, some people may look and say, well, one nothing, not a lot of razzle-dazzle to it, but I've loved it because... 
Yes, Peters is is on quite a run, and he's riding a wave of confidence. But I, like I said earlier in the period, Johnny, other than that hickey chance way back in the first period, I don't think he had to make one second stop. That's right. So now at 33 on the clock, Manny Malhotra will take a key face-off opposed by Kyle Oposo. Face-off won by Malhotra. Sekera off the boards. McDonald, Jordan, Gorgeous back out. 25 seconds left. Islanders start a push. Malhotra would make it happen. Now Tavares steps in. He'll wipe it along. Panic. Defended by Justin Falk. Buck is cleared all the way back. McDonald, center zone. Ten seconds left. Oposo sends it in. Final push here. Four seconds on the clock. Jordan Stahl along the boards. He'll count it out. It's a shutout for Justin Peters. As the Carolina Hurricanes defeat the New York Islanders. 1-0. Total team effort, to use one of your great phrases, John. From the goal out, Peters made all the first stops. That's his job. The big breakaway save on Grabner late in the second period, along with his, on that backdoor play, Hickey in the first. Those were his two best. The penalty killing a huge star. But I just love the habits of the Carolina Hurricanes tonight. They were a four-line team, a three sets of defensive uh, pairings team. Everybody had a part against a New York club that is a team on the rise with all sorts of high firepower, and they really didn't give up a ton of chances. When the Canes win, all Caniacs win. Get 50% off your entire menu price online order at participating Papa John's the day after a Canes victory. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. It's fun to be an excellent face-off team, isn't it? How about that win from Nahaltra? You expect him to win it. Eric and Jordan Stahl had excellent nights in the face-off circle as well. As you see the three stars, Justin Peters for the second consecutive game. The number one star in a rousing 1-0 victory over the New York Islanders. As the Hurricanes move upward in the Metro Division standings. And Chantel McCabe is standing by with Justin Peters. Not just a win, but a division win in the home building tonight. How important was this win? Oh, that was huge. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. And we really needed that win tonight. So behind these, behind these fans, we got it done. Well, a shout out for you. Another tight game. What did it take to get this win here? Well, it took a full 60 minutes. Uh, we were able to get a goal early on, but man, it was a hard fought game the whole way. So full 60 minutes, a lot of fun. Your defensemen certainly helped you out tonight. Talk about what they allowed you to do. Oh, man. I bled out a lot of rebounds, but uh, the defense picked me up big time. And uh, we wouldn't have won this game without them. Thanks, Justin. Congratulations. Thank you. John and Tripp, back to you. Thank you, Chantel, and congratulations to Carolina's number 35. Radek Dvorak had the game's only goal. Carolina Hurricanes won the New York Islanders no score. Full post-game coverage after the break. Hurricanes Live is next.